Hello, everyone. In this section, we will begin to learn another membrane separation technology: reverse osmosis. Look at this experiment. If we use a semi-permeable membrane to separate fresh water from salt water, the water molecules in fresh water will spontaneously permeate through the membrane into salt water. This is the osmosis phenomenon. It's a spontaneous process happening with presence of semi-permeable membrane. It can be explained thermodynamically by the change of chemical potentials of solutions. The chemical potential of water in any solution could be calculated by this formula, where x is the mole fraction of water, T is the thermodynamic temperature, and P is the pressure. For a solution, x is less than one, and its logarithm is negative. Thus, the chemical potential of a solution is smaller than that of the pure water. Thus. Once the pure water and salt water are separated by a semi-permeable membrane, the water molecules would penetrate toward the lower chemical potential side, i.e., toward the salt water, till the permeation reaches a dynamic equilibrium. A height difference would occur on the two sides of the membrane. It's the osmotic pressure of salt water, denoted by pi. It is a symbol to distinguish solution and pure water. Osmotic pressure depends on the solution's concentration and temperature, and is calculated by this formula. Suppose a pressure of P, which is higher than pi, is applied at the salt water side. The water molecules in the salt water will penetrate into the fresh water. It's the phenomenon of reverse osmosis. By theories of reverse osmosis, inorganic salt ions could be rejected by the reverse osmosis membrane. And the salt water could be desalinated to become pure water. In reverse osmosis, the membrane used is the key point. The membrane materials could be polymers or inorganic materials. Cellulose acetate is one of the widely used materials, like cellulose triacetate membrane. Polyamide is another type, like polyamide asymmetric membrane. Besides. Polyamide composite membrane has become the most widely applied reverse osmosis membrane in recent years. As the pictures show, it is structured by three layers. At the bottom is polyester reinforced nonwoven cloth. In the middle is polysulfone porous spot layer, and at the top is a polyamide ultra thin separation layer, which could separate water and salt molecules. Spiral wound reverse osmosis membrane module is the most typical and widely used reverse osmosis membrane module. This is a schematic structure of it. This is the reverse osmosis membrane, and this is water inlet spacer. It mainly has two functions: to provide the water flow path and to increase the turbulence of water on the membrane surface. So that the concentration polarization could be reduced. This is water production spacer, which is mainly used to uniformly collect the desalinated water from reverse osmosis membrane and guide it to the central water collection tube. The raw water enters the reverse osmosis membrane unit through the water inlet spacer on the right. The central water collection tube collects the desalinated water and discharges it from the center. The concentrate is discharged through the concentrate pipe on the left side. Now let's watch a video to see how such reverse osmosis membrane module is assembled. This is a reverse osmosis membrane. The water inlet spacer is set between the reverse osmosis membranes. The spacer provides channels for the water flow and increases the turbulence on the membrane surface to suppress the concentration polarization. On the other side of the reverse osmosis membrane, i.e., the outlet side, water production spacer is set to uniformly collect the desalinated water from high-pressure reverse osmosis. This spacer is sealed on three sides, and thus it could guide the desalinated water to the collection tube. At last, 
All of them are rolled around the water collection tube, and a membrane module unit is formed. The raw water flows in through the inlet spacer. The rejected ions on the membrane surface are flushed out from the inlet spacer with the raw water, forming the concentrate. Under high pressure, the water passes through the membrane into the water production spacer and flows along the circular channel into the central water collection tube and flows out as desalinated water. Generally, a reverse osmosis membrane module contains several such units. They are packaged by high-pressure resistant shell. A group of membrane modules work together. The raw water is injected into them through high-pressure pump. As raw water flows in the modules, water would penetrate the membrane, while ions and viruses would be rejected by the membrane and flow out with raw water as concentrate. The water passing through the membrane would be collected and discharged by the central tube as desalinated water. This section is about the principal and working features of reverse osmosis. Next, we'll learn some operating parameters of it.